Hi, want to give you a quick overview of Kaviza and show you a live demonstration. Kaviza is a company based in Silicon Valley, California, and we make virtual desktops very easy and affordable. Our mission is to make a virtual desktop less expensive and easier to set up and to manage than PCs. Kaviza does this by eliminating a lot of the expensive infrastructure and the multiple moving parts that traditional VDI requires. We've essentially re-architected the virtual desktop stack and created a single integrated software appliance that can be simply loaded on any hypervisor enabled commodity server to turn it into a virtual desktop server. So you take an off the shelf server with local direct attached storage, load either VMware ESX or Citrix Zen server hypervisor on it, and then load the Kaviza virtual appliance. And that's it. With that, you can start generating virtual desktops and users can start accessing them. To scale this grid, you simply add more off-the-shelf servers on the fly. And Kaviza gives you built-in high availability and load balancing across the grid. Kaviza essentially makes virtual desktops very easy to deploy, very affordable, and it gives you all the core features you need in a virtual desktop solution, including on-demand scaling, high availability built-in, and rich user experience with the Citrix HDX protocol. The best part is that your total cost to deploy a virtual desktop is under $500. And this includes the cost of the server, the cost of the Kaviza license, any needed Microsoft license. With all of that, you can get a virtual desktop for between $260 to $410 a desktop. And you don't have to rip and replace all your PCs you can uh, deploy Kaviza virtual desktops in phases and be cost effective, even starting with 25 desktops and up. So at this point, I'd like to show you a live demonstration of the product. And if you'd like to try the product out for yourself, you can download a free trial from www.kaviza.com and clicking on the free trial button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and log in to the Kaviza grid as an administrator. To do that, I'm going to point my browser to one of the servers in the grid. It can be any one of the servers. In this grid, we have three servers set up. And I'm going to give my credentials and log in. When I log in, the first thing I see is a view across my grid of all the different desktop types I have, of different aspects of these desktops, like how many are running, how many are new, etc., and a view of the capacity across my whole grid and how much of it is in use. I can click on the Servers tab, and I see that I have three servers running in my grid, and they all have different amounts of their capacity being used. So let's go in and actually add some desktops. Let's say we have five new accountants that just joined our company, and we want to create desktops for them. So I've added these five new desktops, and I'm going to save it. And once I save it, Kaviza is going to start generating these desktops. So I'm seeing that Kaviza is generating these desktops. I see a few have already started. There's three. And now I can go and switch and see how these desktops are getting load balanced across this grid. I see that the two desktops that started have started on these two machines. And as Kaviza starts more desktops, we're going to see that workload getting load balanced. We see another desktop started on Alpha 7. So Kaviza is automatically load balancing our workload across the different machines in the grid. We can click on these machines to get a sense of their capacities. One is a two core 12 gig machine. Another is a two core four gig machine. And the third is one of our larger machines. It's an eight core 32 gig machine. So Kaviza automatically figured out the capacities of these machines. It's dynamically load balancing the workloads. So the usage across these servers is roughly equal. So once you've come in and you've set up your desktops, you can actually now connect users to these desktops by connecting Kaviza to Active Directory and then by specifying for the different groups and users in Active Directory what desktops you want to assign them. So now that we've done this, we've given all the accounting users an accounting desktop, all the payroll users a payroll desktop. We're going to log in as one of the users using the Kaviza desktop client, which is a zero install lightweight client. 
I'm going to log in and I'm going to pick the Windows 7 desktop just to show you that experience. So it's logging this user into the desktop. You see this is a Windows 7 desktop that came in. This user actually had access to two desktops, so it gave them a choice of both desktops. You can see it's Andrew's desktop. That's who we logged in as. You can see all his apps are here, his pictures are here. You see the rich backgrounds are displaying dynamically. And this is because Kaviza is running with a rich high definition experience protocol. And these are Kaviza virtual desktops being generated dynamically on those servers we saw that are being accessed by the users. Hopefully this gives you a good overview of how Kaviza works and how you can set easily set up and manage virtual desktops with Kaviza. Again, if you're interested, you can download a free trial today at www.kaviza.com. Thank you.